Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, red for short. Gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Conflict, part two. Yesterday I was talking about how the paper, the church section was taken out of the paper because of the death of President Kennedy. And so that's what he's still talking about today. But why should anyone really be surprised at the newspaper's action? Because this is what is happening in the personal life of so many people. If there is a clash of times and engagements, it is so often the church and the religious meeting which have to go. People will go to church, but if there are visitors on Sunday, if anyone suggests an excursion on Sunday, it is the church that goes. There are very like, very few, like the great scholar whom I know, he belonged to a group engaged on fair, fairly important work. It was difficult to get the group widely scattered together through the week, and it was suggested that the group should meet and work at weekends. This man said gently but firmly, no, I worship on Sunday. And the astonishing thing was that the whole group accepted this as a final verdict and in fact did not meet to work on Sunday. There is so very few now who can really and truly say, Christ means life to me, Philippians 1, 21. There are so many who like Lord Melbourne in the 19th century say, religion is all right so long as it does not interfere with a man's private life. For so many, the claims of Christ are well enough so long as they don't cause any trouble or bother, and if there is any clash of interests, then these claims are conveniently forgotten. The tragedy is not so much that the action of the newspaper shows how expendable the voice of the church is. The tragedy really is that the church is so full of people for whom their religion is only on the circumference of their lives that we in fact have no right to expect anything else. If we are living, if we are living in the twilight of the church, there is no one but ourselves who can usher in a change. Yeah, and I think that it's just gotten worse since since these times, this was written in the sixties, um, seventies. So, well, Kennedy passed in nineteen sixty-three, but this was published in like nineteen seventy, I believe. Let me see. But um, yeah, and we were talking first printing um, October nineteen seventy-one, copyright nineteen seventy-one, by Dennis Duncan. But um. Yeah, and we were talking, um, things have changed so much. And I do think, you know, we were talking at my live about going to church and I do think you don't have to. I feel like there's benefits to it, but um, you know, it's just because it's changed so much even since this was written. So, and there are other things like Zoom. Our church meets, and I was, I was, I went to, I went to hike at the Bluffs again last night, and then I remembered, and I was like, oh, Lindy didn't, it's when Lindy goes live, our our church has a Zoom meeting and he has people from all over the world discuss his sermon, my pastor, Peter Hyatt. And um, it's pretty cool. I mean, I will I haven't been to it yet, I want to, but because it interferes with Lindy's live, I think that now that Lindy's going earlier, I might be able to go to it sometimes. Um, but she didn't go live, so we're praying for Lindy. Dear Lord, please heal Lindy and be with Lindy. Pray in Jesus' name, amen. Um, so, yeah, there's other things and groups you can be in online and all of that. So, 
It's interesting. I still feel like it's very interesting to um, read Barclay's thoughts. And um, he was a theologian. And back in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, um, he he lived, he's from Scotland. He lived from 1907 till 1978. And he was a Christian universalist. He believed that God would eventually bring all to himself and save everyone. So, and that's what my beliefs have evolved to from study, from experience, from learning that um, the first 400 years of Christianity, they didn't believe in hell. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Um, yeah, I recently found another channel that probably has a lot of controversial thoughts to other Christians, but um, I'm probably gonna share that channel on my, <laughs> cause um, it's okay. It's okay if every. It's okay if we don't agree. It's perfectly okay. It's fine. We don't have to argue. I don't. I don't like to argue. I'm not gonna argue with anybody. But um, I'll just believe what I believe, okay? And you believe what you believe, okay? <laughs> Um, but don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for Red because Red is praying for you. Bye.